It was a kind of a turning point for me personally and creatively because y you don't know until you play with those big hitters how good you are. In the glittering tapestry of Hollywood's history, few stories shimmer with the same mix of fame, love, and heartache as that of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies. Robert, the ruggedly handsome star of Vegas and Spencer for Hire, and Heather, the enchanting actress from The Sound of Music, etched their names not just in showbiz, but also in the annals of real-life tales of unwavering love. Yet behind the limelight, they faced battles far more challenging than any portrayed on screen. This is their captivating yet tragic story. The 80s and 90s were eras of change and discovery in Hollywood, a time of flamboyant styles, expressive movies, and memorable TV shows. As most were tuning into neon aesthetics and the burgeoning influence of MTV, two stars were illuminating the world of television and cinema, Robert Urich and Heather Menzies. Robert Urich's magnetism was undeniable. With a charisma that was as palpable as the characters he portrayed, Urich was more than just an actor. He was a beacon of masculinity, echoing the tough guy persona that was resonating with the audiences of the time. Yet, his portrayal was nuanced, carefully straddling the line between macho and sensitive, making him a favorite of both male and female fans alike. His role as Dan Tana in Vegas was transformative, not just for Urich, but for the very nature of detective dramas. Between 1978 and 1981, viewers were treated to a private detective saga unlike any other. Vegas set itself apart by intertwining the glamour and allure of Las Vegas with crime-fighting adventures. Urich's Tana was a character who exemplified the charm and intelligence necessary to thrive in such an environment, making the show a hit. However, it was perhaps Spencer for Hire that solidified Urich's place in television history. Based on Robert Parker's book series, the show chronicled the life of a Boston private investigator. Spencer wasn't just a detective, he was an emblem of integrity in a city riddled with crime. Urich's portrayal from 1985 to 1988 not only established him as a household name, but also as a definitive action hero of his generation. His Spencer was adept, clever, and most importantly, human. On the other side of the spectrum was Heather Menzies, a talent whose elegance and grace echoed the classics. Before she ever graced the TV screens with minor roles in series like Bonanza and Dragnet, she was known for a role that touched hearts across generations. In 1965, the world was introduced to the Von Trapp family in the cinematic masterpiece, The Sound of Music. Among the talented brood of singing children was Louisa, played by a young and radiant Heather Menzies. This role, though taken up when she was just 14, promised the world a star in the making. But Menzies wasn't just about that iconic twirl in the Austrian meadows. Her versatility shone through in a multitude of roles, including those in The Bob Newhart Show and films like Piranha. She gracefully maneuvered through different genres, showing that she wasn't confined to the musical aura of her earlier years. The beauty of the 80s and 90s wasn't just about the dawn of a more experimental cinematic era, but it was also about the discovery of gems like Urich and Menzies. Their presence, though contrasting in style, offered viewers a taste of both drama and passion. Urich's action-packed sequences were perfectly balanced with Menzies' more graceful, emotive performances. In a way, they were the yin and yang of their era, distinct yet harmoniously complementing each other. One might ask, in an industry filled with icons, why remember these two? Well, in the vast ocean of stars, Robert Urich and Heather Menzies were the Polaris guiding lights for many who sought depth in performance. Theirs were careers built not on tabloid sensations or mere publicity stunts, but on genuine talent and an unwavering dedication to the craft. And as the reels of the Golden Age played, showcasing vivid tales of adventure, romance, and intrigue, these two actors gave their audience more than just entertainment. They offered glimpses into lives lived with fervor, passion, and authenticity, making their mark in an era that remains golden in the memories of many. In a world where glittering premieres and ostentatious award ceremonies were the norm, 
Robert Urich and Heather Menzies found love in the most unassuming of places, a corned beef hash commercial. As fate would have it, these two stars collided, not amidst the clamor of a blockbuster set, but over plates of steaming corned beef hash. It's the kind of story that might be the plot for one of those classic romantic comedies where love blooms in the unlikeliest of places. Robert, known for his dashing good looks, and Heather with her classic beauty, shared more than just the screen that day. Their shared laughter over the bizarre premise of the commercial and mutual amusement at the unexpected quirks of their industry sparked a connection deeper than any scripted romance. Who would have thought, Yurik would often quip, that the secret ingredient to love wasn't some exotic potion but good old corned beef hash? The humor wasn't lost on either of them, with Menzies often playfully retorting, well, as long as it's not the staple of our dinner dates. But beneath the layers of humor, lay a foundation of deep respect and understanding. Hollywood, with its bright lights and ever-present cameras, can be a challenging environment for relationships. The pressures are manifold. Erratic schedules, frequent separations, the scrutiny of the public eye, and the temptations that come with fame. Yet, Robert and Heather stood firm, their bond proving to be stronger than the challenges Hollywood threw their way. They got married in 1975, and it was clear to all that this wasn't just another fleeting Hollywood romance. The couple seemed to have cracked the code, balancing their professional commitments with their personal lives seamlessly. Their family blossomed with the addition of three children, and through the years, they remained each other's anchor. For Robert and Heather, family was a sanctuary. Away from the blinding spotlight and the incessant hum of the industry, they found solace in the simple joys of parenthood. Beach trips, school plays, and lazy Sundays became the bedrock of their lives. In an industry known for its ephemeral nature, their love story was a testament to longevity and commitment. What made their relationship even more remarkable was the genuine camaraderie they shared. They were not just husband and wife, but best friends, confidants, and each other's biggest cheerleaders. Their love story was free of the dramatic ups and downs that usually fill tabloid pages. Instead, it was filled with moments of genuine affection, understanding, and shared dreams. Stories of their love abound, but one stands out, capturing the essence of their bond. During a particularly challenging shoot for Yurik, when he was away for weeks on end, Menzies surprised him. She had flown out with their kids and set up a makeshift family dinner in his trailer. When Yurik returned after a grueling day, he was met with the familiar scent of corned beef hash, a cheeky nod to their memorable first meeting, and the smiling faces of his family. It was a moment that encapsulated their relationship, full of warmth, humor, and an enduring connection. In a world where love stories often end as quickly as they begin, Robert Yurik and Heather Menzies were a refreshing exception. They proved that true love could thrive amidst the glitz and glamour, staying untouched by the pitfalls of fame. Theirs was a tale that didn't need the embellishments of a screenplay. It was beautiful in its simplicity, genuine in its emotion, and timeless in its essence. Amidst the ever-changing backdrop of Hollywood, their love story was a constant, shining brightly and inspiring many. While Robert Urich dazzled audiences on screen with his powerful performances and charismatic presence, behind the scenes, he was waging a fierce battle against a formidable opponent, synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer that was to test his resilience and strength in ways that no on-screen antagonist ever had. The diagnosis came at the height of his career in 1996, a time when Robert was enjoying both professional acclaim and personal happiness. Synovial sarcoma, a soft tissue sarcoma that primarily affects the joints, was a relatively unknown entity in the wider realm of cancers, making the diagnosis even more harrowing. Its rarity meant limited information and fewer established treatment options. Yet true to his indomitable spirit, Yurik resolved to fight the disease with all his might. His battle with cancer was as multi-dimensional as one of his complex on-screen roles. There were physical challenges, of course. The aggressive treatments, including surgeries and chemotherapy, took a toll on his once vigorous physique. The side effects of the treatments combined with the inherent debilitating nature of the disease 
sapped his energy, and often left him drained. But this was Robert Urich, a man whose determination and will had powered him through decades in a notoriously tough industry. He faced these physical setbacks with a fighter's spirit, using the love and support of his family as a bolster. However, the psychological and emotional challenges proved even more arduous. Here was a man in his prime, a successful actor beloved by many, suddenly having to grapple with his own mortality. The uncertainty of his future, the fear of the unknown, and the anxiety over how the disease might progress weighed heavily on him. Yet in public, he maintained a brave front, often using humor as a shield against the dark clouds of doubt and fear. Robert's battle against cancer wasn't confined to hospitals and treatment centers. His illness had ramifications in Hollywood, an industry where image and physicality play significant roles. For an actor, especially one of Urich's caliber and recognition, there was the added pressure of maintaining a presence in the industry while battling a severe illness. Some projects had to be sidelined, while others required adjustments to accommodate his health needs. There were whispers and murmurs, the inevitable byproduct of an industry that thrives on gossip. Yet many in the industry rallied around him, offering support and understanding. One poignant instance stands out during this period. On the set of a project, Yurik, ever the professional, was pushing himself hard despite his deteriorating health. Noticing this, a fellow actor took him aside and whispered words of encouragement, reminding him that his health was paramount and that the entire cast and crew were with him in his fight. It was a touching gesture, one that underscored the underlying solidarity in an often cutthroat industry. While Robert grappled with the dual pressures of his health and career, there was another vital aspect to consider, the role of a public figure in the face of personal adversity. As a well-known actor, Urich's battle with cancer was not just a personal fight. It was a journey that was keenly observed and followed by millions. Recognizing this, Urich made a commendable decision. He chose to use his platform to raise awareness about the disease, shedding light on its intricacies and advocating for more research into rare cancers. He became a beacon of hope for many, sharing his story openly and urging others to be vigilant about their health. But what truly stood out during this challenging phase was the unwavering support of his wife, Heather. She became his pillar, standing by him through every high and low, offering comfort, strength, and unyielding love. Together they navigated the tumultuous waters of his illness, drawing strength from their shared memories and dreams. Robert Urich's fight against synovial sarcoma was a testament to his indomitable spirit, resilience, and the power of love and support. While his battle with the disease was tragically cut short with his passing in 2002, his legacy lives on, not just as a gifted actor who entertained millions, but as a fighter who faced one of life's harshest challenges with grace, dignity, and an unwavering spirit. The love story of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies was one for the ages, their bond seemingly impervious to the tumultuous tides of Hollywood. With Robert's untimely passing in 2002, a void was left, not only in the entertainment industry, but in the heart of Heather. And yet even in her profound grief, Heather channeled her pain into purpose, ensuring that Robert's legacy would live on. In the aftermath of her husband's death, Heather took up the mantle of the Robert Urich Foundation. The foundation, initiated by Robert and Heather, was a beacon of hope and a rallying point for those afflicted by rare cancers, especially synovial sarcoma. Heather, having witnessed firsthand the devastation of the disease and the challenges of navigating the medical maze, became its passionate torchbearer. She was determined that no one should feel alone in their battle against cancer, and under her stewardship, the foundation flourished. The Robert Urich Foundation became synonymous with advocacy, research, and support. Heather tirelessly campaigned for funds, ensuring that crucial research into rare cancers was adequately financed. She also established support groups, offering a comforting space for patients and their families to share their journeys, fears, and hopes. Through seminars, awareness campaigns, and collaborations, Heather ensured that the Foundation's message reached as many people as possible. Yet, life had another trial in store for Heather. 
In an ironic and heart-wrenching twist of fate, she too was diagnosed with cancer. Much like her late husband, Heather approached her diagnosis with courage, determination, and grace. Throughout her treatment, she continued her work with the Foundation, often drawing strength from the very community she had helped build. Her battle with cancer was as much a personal journey as it was a testament to her undying commitment to the cause she and Robert had championed. Even in the face of her illness, Heather's spirit remained undiminished. She frequently spoke about the importance of hope, resilience, and the healing power of love. For Heather, love was a force that transcended mortality. She often recounted stories of her time with Robert, their love serving as a poignant reminder that even in death, love endures. In interviews and conversations, she'd fondly reminisce about their time together, emphasizing that while Robert was no longer physically present, his essence, his spirit, and their shared memories were very much alive within her. Heather Menzies Urich passed away in 2017, leaving behind a legacy that went far beyond her cinematic contributions. Through her tireless work with the Robert Urich Foundation, she had touched countless lives, offering hope, support, and solace to those grappling with the shadows of cancer. Her story was one of undying love, resilience in the face of adversity, and the profound impact one person can have on the world. In many ways, Heather's journey post-Robert's demise epitomized the ethos of the foundation they had created together. It was about fighting, not just for oneself, but for countless others. It was about transforming personal pain into a collective purpose. It was about leaving behind a legacy of hope, love, and resilience. In the end, Heather Menzies Urich's legacy was not just about her cinematic achievements or even her work with the Foundation. It was about the indomitable spirit of a woman who faced life's harshest trials with grace and fortitude. It was about the power of love, a love so profound that it transcended the boundaries of life and death. And in her dedication to the Foundation, in her stories of Robert, and in the community she nurtured, Heather's love story remains eternally etched in the annals of time. The glamour of Hollywood has a unique allure. It draws us into tales of romance, heroism, and fantasy. But every so often, amidst the glitz and drama of the silver screen, emerge stories that resonate with profound authenticity. The tale of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies was one such story. It transitioned seamlessly from the reels of cinema to the gritty realities of life, life weaving a narrative of love, battle, and relentless hope. Cancer is a word that, regrettably, is too familiar to many. Its insidious nature, its indiscriminate choice of victims, and the profound impact it leaves in its wake make it a formidable adversary. But it's not just the physical affliction that poses a challenge. It's the psychological and emotional toll it takes on both the patients and their families. Robert's battle with synovial sarcoma and later Heather's own confrontation with cancer were heartbreaking episodes in a love story that had captivated many. Yet, out of this personal tumult rose the Robert Urich Foundation, a beacon of hope for those caught in the treacherous crosshairs of rare cancers. What started as a personal mission, fueled by the Urich duo's experiences, soon expanded into a broader, compassionate cause. Consider this for a moment. Have you ever known of tales of such bravery, of individuals who, in their hours of deepest despair, thought not of themselves, but of how they could alleviate the sufferings of others? Robert and Heather's foray into philanthropy was not merely about fundraising or awareness. It was about sharing their journey, about extending a hand of solidarity, and about assuring others that they were not alone in their battles. The Foundation's initiatives were manifold. There were support groups which became sanctuaries where patients and their families could share, vent, grieve, and most importantly, hope. There were research grants, ensuring that science continued its relentless pursuit against these rare forms of cancer. And then there were awareness campaigns, illuminating the dark corners of lesser-known diseases and urging the world to rally together. Amidst the commendable endeavors of the Foundation, what stood out most was the human touch. The testimonials of those who had been supported by the Foundation often echoed a common sentiment. They felt seen, heard, and validated. There was a genuine commitment to make a difference, 
and it was this earnestness that set the Robert Urich Foundation apart. In a world where celebrities often float above the realities of common folk, Robert and Heather chose to be different. They used their platform not for furthering personal agendas, but to shed light on a cause close to their hearts. Their story wasn't just about their roles in iconic films and TV series. It was about their roles as compassionate humans, as pillars of strength in a community battling adversity. But why does their story resonate so deeply with many? Perhaps because it reminds us of the transient nature of life, of the fragility of existence, and of the profound impact of genuine human connections. Their journey, replete with cinematic highs and the somber valleys of real-life struggles, exemplifies that sometimes the most authentic stories aren't the ones that are scripted, but the ones that unfold organically, shaped by the unpredictable contours of life. Dear viewer, as you immerse yourself in their story, pause for a moment. Reflect on the tales of bravery you've encountered in your life. Maybe it's a personal story. Maybe it's a narrative you've heard. The essence of Robert and Heather's journey is a reminder that amidst the most formidable challenges, there lies the opportunity to craft a legacy of hope, resilience, and enduring love. They moved from the reels of cinema to the poignant drama of real life, showing us all that heroes aren't just born on screen. Sometimes, they emerge from the most unexpected corners of life. Every legacy, like a river, has its source. For the Robert Urich Foundation, it stemmed from the tribulations and fervent hope of two people united not only in their love for each other, but also in their commitment to making a difference. But as with many great rivers, its true power is witnessed when it flows and expands, nourishing landscapes and communities, and in this case, the next generation. To understand the current status of the Robert Urich Foundation, it's imperative to trace its evolution and how it has been shepherded by those left in its care. With Robert and Heather's passage, there lay ahead the daunting task of ensuring that their mission and vision would not only endure, but thrive. Enter their children, who were imbued with the same spirit of compassion, resilience, and dedication that their parents exemplified. The Foundation today stands not just as a monument to Robert and Heather's struggle, but also as a testament to their children's determination to preserve and propagate the ethos of their parents. It has metamorphosed from a personal project into a robust institution, driving awareness, funding critical research, and creating support networks for those affected by rare cancers. Prominent among the torchbearers of this legacy is their son, Ryan Urich. His journey is a remarkable blend of personal experience and a deep-rooted desire to heal. The shadows cast by the battles his parents fought and the indelible imprint they left on his psyche directed him towards medicine. Ryan's choice to become a doctor wasn't mere serendipity. It was born out of an intrinsic need to mend, to alleviate pain, and to ensure that others would have a fighting chance against the afflictions that had so personally affected his family. Dr. Ryan Urich, as he's now known, is not just a practitioner of medicine. He is a beacon of hope for many, a tangible symbol of the Urich legacy in action. His approach to medicine mirrors the values he inherited, empathy, diligence, and a relentless quest for answers. In him, patients see not just a physician, but also a comrade, someone who understands the profound emotional and psychological tapestry that envelops those grappling with illness. Beyond Ryan, the Foundation benefits from the active involvement of other Uric family members, ensuring that the core values of Robert and Heather remain its guiding star. It's a holistic approach, ensuring that the Foundation doesn't lose its personal touch even as it expands its outreach and scope. In many ways, the Robert Uric Foundation is a living tapestry of stories. Woven into its fabric are the trials and triumphs of Robert and Heather, the dedication of their children, and the countless narratives of those it has helped. It serves as a poignant reminder that from adversity can arise purpose, from personal loss, a universal gain. Today, as the Foundation continues its work, its impact is felt in numerous ways. In research labs where scientists are a step closer to unlocking new treatments, in support groups where individuals find solace in shared experiences, 
and in the hopeful eyes of patients who see in Dr. Ryan Urick and the foundation a fighting chance against their afflictions. A legacy, they say, isn't just about what you leave behind. It's about what you set in motion for the future. Robert and Heather set a wheel of hope, compassion, and resilience in motion. Today, that wheel is propelled further by their children, especially Ryan, ensuring that the Uric legacy isn't just about remembrance. It's about ongoing action, relentless pursuit, and an undying hope. In their story, the world finds assurance that even in the face of profound loss, the human spirit can craft legacies that endure, inspire, and illuminate lives.